definitely need to add fly spray to the grocery list because I milked last night and it's like every fly in the county uh, woke up at once from their winter slumber and came to annoy the cow and then the cow smacks me in the face so keeps my reflexes sharp because the tail to the face really kind of hurts it's not a fun game to play isn't it beautiful though this is like what I pictured what I didn't picture was the flies those can get out of my picture I'm gonna milk the back out first because they're honestly harder to reach. When she starts getting antsy, I can reach her front ones better. Easier. Like, are there actually flies or is she just mad at me from separating her calf? So now she just gets to hit me in the face. You never know. Ew. I'm pretty sure there's no, there's no flies. She's swatting me. I don't appreciate the attitude. That was a close call. It's been 16 hours and 17 days. Hey, you want to get me the teat dip out of there? <laughs> I'm going to guess there's probably two and a half gallons in here at least. Um, this is only our second day out milking on the pasture. All I have her tied to is a T-post and a leash. She wears a collar. Definitely need to add fly spray to my list. I probably got smacked in the face approximately 50 times at least. Oh well, you live and you learn. You're free! Don't lick my- Now why? <laughs> Would you like a portion? No. Careful glide. See if I can get myself shocked. I don't want to go back in there to get the Aha. <laughs> or that. trying to frame in this shot and I got a good glimpse of that my husband didn't even tell me I look like this. 
from putting mascara on and then um, squint, <laughs> trying to dodge cow tail swats. I've been like this for like 45 minutes. <laughs> All right, so we've officially, we're in calf weaning. So he's separated um, and, but I have to now milk twice a day before Oh man. <laughs> Before that, I was basically milking what I needed to. Like I would separate her from the calf at night so that I would have a full uh, 12 hours worth of milk. I would milk about a gallon, gallon and a half, and then I would just give her back to the calf. So I didn't have to do a whole lot of cow managing. I didn't have to do any milk managing because I was just getting what my family needed and then I'd give the rest to the calf. But now, I have to make sure I'm milking everything out and she produces a lot more than I thought she did to be honest. So I'm getting like two plus gallons in the morning and like a gallon and a half at night. Okay, so let's say between three and five gallons of milk a day. I mean, my boys drink a lot of milk, but not that much. <laughs> so now comes the work of managing the milk. Although we did get those pigs. And so now I don't have to feel guilty when I have extra. I just, that's feed for the pig. But now that I do have so much milk, I only have so many gallon jars. I think I only have four or five of these gallon jars because I was really only using one or two a day. Lucky for us though, we're kind of surrounded by Amish. We have a good Amish community around us, so I'm gonna go hit up the Amish store because they have the best price on a gallon jar. I think it's only like four or five dollars for a gallon jar with a lid, and you can't get that on Amazon. I think last time I looked, a two pack was like thirty dollars, so. I think I am, they have a really good selection at the Amish store of um, essential oil and like homeopathic stuff. I think I'm going to make my own fly spray. Uh, Jill Winger has a good recipe that I found. Definitely going to get some fly spray and I would like to use it organically as possible. Not <gasps> oh no! SOS! Definitely should have been looking at the level of the milk and not talking because now. I left the door open so a chicken come inside. Oh, that's so cute. At least Gunner. <laughs> it's a milk waterfall. Oopsie. Alright. I got my two. <laughs> two gallons this morning. Now I'm going to go to my favorite Amish store and get some more jars and maybe some other goodies while I'm there. See you later. I can't tell if I'm out of focus or my eyes aren't focusing. Or like, my vision's blurry. Either way. We took a trip to our Amish store. If you have any Amish in your local area, I highly suggest you go to their store. That's where I buy all of my baking things, like flour, sugar, yeast, baking powder, you get the hint. But I buy it in bulk from the Amish at a very affordable price. Side note, that was a side note. <clears throat> now I'm gonna make um, my own fly spray for the cows. This is a recipe I found off of um, Jill Winger's website. What is it? The Prairie Homestead, I think that's what it's called. Um, but it is four cups of apple cider vinegar, which if you get this one, you use the whole bottle. And two tablespoons of, um, two tablespoons of olive oil and a tablespoon of Dawn dish soap. I already put that in there because I forgot to film it. <laughs> And then, so the main ingredient is the apple cider vinegar, and then you're gonna add uh, rosemary oil, peppermint oil, and basil oil is what she suggests. Now, I'm not, I like to do things as natural as possible, but if it doesn't work, I'm not opposed 
I don't want to use chemicals unless I have to, but if I have to, I don't want the cows to be miserable either. I also don't want to be smacked in the face a trillion times all summer while I'm milking my cow. Okay, so we did that. We're gonna do 20 drops of each one of these essential oils. I love the smell of basil. I kind of have a cold, so. That does not smell like basil. It smells like licorice. Now, since this is all natural ingredients and there's no harmful chemicals in it, like, you could spray this on your dog, on your cat, on your kid. Although, I don't know if I would spray it on my child. It's kinda, it's gonna be stinky with the vinegar. All right, I got my handy dandy fly spray. About to go out here and see if it works. Get the flies off of you. I'm sorry. It's going to help. It will. <laughs> if good thing I don't have really any neighbors. My neighbors are really far away because if they saw me right now with like carrying a camera on a tripod, I look like a crazy person. That's fine. Mommy's in there with Crocs on. Bad idea. Because they like to bite. Well guys, I'm done for the day. I'm pooped. What time is it? <clears throat> it's 7.30. I just got done milking. I roped my husband into milking and now that I know that he can milk sufficiently, like well, like I was surprised. He's never not milking with me again. Anytime he's home, mm, this isn't my chore. This is our chore. So, <laughs> actually, no, it was fun. It, um, I liked having company. I've never had company milking before. I tried to catch it on video, but my phone wasn't really working. But I've got to go in and make dinner for these crazy kids. Say bye. Thanks for watching. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.